full praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushan, by Hashem Yahakadosh. This is the other real Hebrew oops, Israelites, because it's another 12 tribes. Which is uh, Judah, which are the Negroes, Benjamin, uh, which are the Jamaicans, West Indians, Levi, which are the Haitians, Reuben, Seminole Indians, Issachar, which are the Mexicans, Naphtali, the Hawaiians, the Samoans, the Pacific Islanders, Manasar, the Cubans, Zebulon, the Colombians, the Panamanians, and the Guatemalans, Simeon, the Dominicans, Asher, the Brazilians, the Argentinians, the Venezuelans, Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, and Gad, which are the North American Indians. Um, I'm not going to do much today. Today I'm just going to um, go over Proverbs 23, read it out, see what we find, and uh, anything else that I, I come across in terms of the, uh, in terms of what's happening in current events. As uh, Prophet Taha said, you miss a day, you miss a lot. It says, we're jumping into 23. When thou sittest to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what's before thee, and put a knife to thy throat, if thou man be... If thou be a man given to appetite, be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. So this is important because we're coming into the into the time of the MOTB, where we're going to be. Everybody's going to be tested. Everybody's going to be told, um, you know, or may have to make a decision as to who they are aligned with, who who who's going to be their ruler. You know, as I said earlier, that there. In ancient Israel, in Leviticus, it says that if, he, if there's a slave who, after his seven years of service, desires to be freed, um, something just come to me. But if there's a slave which is uh, after his seven years of service, he desires to be freed. He can now. Um, he can ask um, for. You know, to be under his service forever, and the way that that, that he would do that is that the the, um, the slave master would take an arbor and um, and through a doorpost will put something through his ear, pierce him through, and this is what's going to happen with the MOTB. So, basically, what this is saying in, in Proverbs 23 is that when you're sitting with a ruler, you know, don't be quick to gobble up all the things he he uh, he's offering you at the table because. You have to consider very wisely, you know. Consider it as if there's a knife to your throat because there's going to be a price to pay for everything that you take. For they are deceitful meat, labor not to be rich, seeds from thine own wisdom. For thy set eyes upon that which is not, for riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as the eagle towards heaven. I think that's just ob um, obvious. I don't need to break that down. Eat thou not the bread of him that have an evil eye and evil desire, not if thou is dainty meat. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. The morsel which thou hast eaten, thou shalt run up and lose thy sweet words. Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Remove not the old landmark, and enter not into the fields of the fatherless. Right, so, you know, the, the initial borders and the, the borders that I've created, we're not really to remove them, you know. What Esau did throughout the whole of Africa, where he removed and, and, and put new borders on political borders, and then he does it everywhere basically. And there's continual war for their Redeemer is mighty, he shall, he shall plead their cause with thee. Applying thine heart unto instruction and thine ears unto the words of knowledge. So be ready to listen, don't be hard headed, withhold not correction from the tribe, for if thou beatest him with the rod. He shall not die, but shall beat him with the rod, and shall deliver himself from hell. My son, if thine heart be wise, my heart shall rejoice, even mine. Yea, my reign shall rejoice, even when thy lips speak the right things. You know, so it's basically, you can punish your children. You know what I mean? It's better for them, you to punish your children than, than to not be punished and then end up in the grave. So there surely is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Hear thou, my son, and be wise, and guide thine heart in the right way. Be not among wine bibbers, among the righteous eaters of flesh. For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and the drowsiness shall clothe the man with rags.
hearken unto thy father that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she's old. So listen to your mum and your dad, basically. Or don't, don't, don't forget about your mum and your dad. Buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. The father of the righteous shall be greatly shall greatly rejoice, and he that begat a wise child shall have a joy of him. Thy father and thy mother shall be glad, and shall that and she that bear thee shall rejoice. My son, give mine heart. Give me thine heart, and let thine eyes observe thy, my ways. For the whore is a deep ditch, and a strange woman is a narrow pit. So the whore there isn't necessarily talking about prostitutes. It's talking about the whore of Babylon, or other philosophies that will lead you astray, that will lead you to fornicate, and yeah, spiritual fornication with the Lord. She also lieth in wait as for prey, and increaseth the transgressors among men. Who hath woe, who hath sorrow, who hath contention, who hath battle, who hath wounding, wounds without cause, who hath reddened the eyes, see, is a rhetorical question. It's the wicked, generally. They that tarry long at the wine, they that go and seek next wine, and look not thou upon the wine when it is red, when it gives its colour to the cup, when it moves itself aright. As the, at, at the last, it biteth like a serpent and stingeth like an adder. So basically, when um, you see when you get a cup of wine, at the bottom is the dregs and it's sharp, but at the top, at the, at the top of the glass or at the top of the barrel, the wine looks good, it looks lovely, it sits, it's smooth like syrup. But at the bottom, it's it's and it's the same with um, you know, other wines and other philosophies. Uh, get into it and it looks good at the start but at the end it's got there's hell to pay thine eyes shall behold a strange woman and thine heart shall utter perverse things yea thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea or he that lieth upon the top of the mast they are stricken me shalt, shalt thou say and I was not sick they have beaten me and I felt it not when shall I awake I will seek it yet again So don't get into that position anyway. Gonna shut off. Shalom all praise to Yahweh, Bashan Yahav Shai, Bashan Mahakadash. Double honest to the elders and apostles, the great millstone. Yahweh is the name of the heavenly father, it means he is. Yahweh Shai is the name of his son, it means he is, he saves. Rahakadash is the name of the Holy Spirit and people. Shalom.